Hello, this is RC Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. I am going to go beyond the U.S. borders today. Uh, I'm going to look into some European topics, the violence in U the U.K. and the new prime minister, uh, Keir Starmer. I'm also going to look into France and the repercussions from the Olympics. And I just wanted to say the last well, I don't know when it was, many videos ago, I saw Francis Macron overseeing this large body of water and he was like managing it like a orchestra conductor and he was moving all these different things. And then after I watched the Olympics, I thought, oh, maybe it has to do with the Seine, the river that everything, you know, the opening ceremonies were in and all the watery um, or the implications from the, you know, triathlon, all the swimmers, everything in the river, and he was concerned about that. So, you know, I'm always deciphering my visions to see what is actually accurate or where, you know, trying to tune into them. So I think that was related to that. But from this point forward, I know there's going to be some other, you know, now that the Olympics are over and the joyful period is, is done, they're going to have to recover and have some more talks and see where that goes. So I'm going to look into those two uh, countries, and I know they have a very symbiotic relationship, UK and France. I'm also, I saw that there was an earthquake in Japan. I wanted to look into that. And I also wanted to look into Pakistan. Um, uh, Kevin, I can't remember your last name, Kevin, but somebody, he asks a lot of questions on my channel, and he asked about Pakistan. So I am going to look into Pakistan's general how the economy is moving, what's happening there. And I don't know enough about most things, if I'm being truthful, I'm being honest. I look into the energy, I look into how it feels, I look into the images and I decipher them. And actually it helps me to not to, to know too many details because that way I can be more clear sighted about it. But I did look into Pakistan as well. So hopefully uh, my viewer will appreciate that. <laughs> Back at home, Lauren Boebert is running for election or running for election in a new district. She left the old district and went to a new district and see if she'll get elected there in the fall. And MTG, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, I think she's running unopposed. Well, she was, but now she's going against somebody in Georgia that, when I looked at the numbers, really doesn't have, seems like a chance to, to beat her in their very red section of Georgia that she is. So I looked into that. And then I also wanted to respond to a couple comments about, really great comments about positivity and how they feel, somebody had said that they feel good. You know, I'm trying to promote sympathy and um, a lightness in the world and us joining together again as Americans because we are gonna get there, we will. Don't know exactly when timelines are funny things and free will is a funny thing but i know we will be united these states will be united again sometimes people who see that i talk about trump interpret that as a it is kind of a negative sometimes but i don't always look at it as i look at the big picture what are we supposed to be learning how can we survive this how can we save our democracy and some people there's characters in this story these chapters, we're in a certain chapter in our life story or our nation's story. And there's villains, there's um, anti-heroes, there's literal heroes, there's people are very quietly doing the work and moving us forward in this storyline. So I look at all those things. Plus, I love to look at past life regression. I love to look at past lives and see how that influences the now and how certain celebrities or politicians, how they've been affected from their past lives and how it's affecting us, the greater um, humanity, country, community, um, who they affect or how they affect us and, you know, what their effect is on us. And that is it, I think. Um, thanks again for coming by and love seeing you guys here and let's get started. those of you who have not been here before I do get visions I see images sometimes they're food related or desserts because that's how I 
I guess, live my life. I love to eat. I don't know. Anyway, but I also do paper uh, divination where I crumple it and I get the energy between my hands. Um, today, I'm going to, um, first of all, say thank you to all my new subscribers, those of you who decided to stick it out with me. I love it. Thank you so much. And so I started off... Oh, if you guys need to look at the fish on the wall there's abby on the sofa uh i started off with pakistan uh one of my viewers kevin i think it's kevin birdwell he asked a lot about pakistan and uh migration into europe but i'm just going to focus on pakistan i got some visions and i um feel as if when i looked at pakistan uh let's use my labradorite pakistan felt dense with corruption i felt like my vision is uh, ground but it's embedded with roots and all these layers of things that are growing in it, it they're darker things that they're like all in and they're all entangled and you can't clean it out it feels very like dense and what i got with that is it was embedded with the oligarch types I don't know what the people there would be but the rich people who are kind of um, gearing the economy towards themselves and not the people the regular people who do the work um, and it's deeply rooted in underground and um, I felt left as if this has been going on for really really a long time and I asked 2024 um, economy and I saw that there was um, nothing's happening. And 2025, that intensity, that deeply embedded, rooted, I want to say corruption or lack of spreading the wealth and only the higher ups or the elite or people with power get the money is pushing people down more. So there's pressure. I see pressure putting people down. Or, I don't know if people, but people are the the collateral damage in this situation, pushing them down. And there's not a lightness, it's a heavierness, heavierness, heaviness that is not allowing it to flow and, exp and expand. But in 2026, what I see is that there is an expansion or this is being lifted. And what I think that is, I, you know, as I said before, these are all just my entertainment, entertainment purposes only. This is my musing, this is my visions and my experiments. But I saw that the people have to take charge. The people need to rise up because it's so layered with decades or centuries of this control that they haven't been able to do that. And I think with our new world order with technology with uh, internet the uh, and pluto moving into aquarius the people the populace need to take control or push back so i do see protests a lot more of them but they will actually ultimately um start a new cycle they will reach the goal of removing some of this dense, oppressive, dirt, rooted, entangled stuff that's there. Not 100%, and it may not last forever, but I do see that in 2026. And I don't know if I'm answering the question right for the person, or if I'm answering the question you had asked, but I don't see anything changing. I do see the growth. There's, always, there's growth because it's so dense. There's a lot of entangled roots there but it's it's um oppressive it feels real oppressive um yeah so people want to leave because they're not being validated not getting money they don't they can't make a life for themselves because only the top can see the sun right everybody else is down here all right uh next i'm gonna i looked into I had that vision before, France in the water, Macron standing over it and looking at this kind of choppy waters and he's managing it like a conductor over an orchestra. And he was kind of proud of it. So I didn't quite put two and two together since till I saw the Olympic opening ceremonies in the River Seine. And I, um, when I asked about it now, 
because I think everybody's coming down to earth. When I close my eyes, I see things evaporating. So the water is receding. The joy, that bubbling of life that happened, all that diversity, people from around the world came. There was a really positive, confident mood. It's drying up. Um, when I held the paper, and hopefully this isn't too loud, I'm going to do it over here. I see him with this space between his teeth. I see when I ask about the economy, I see it's thin. I feel like it's drying up and the water's receding. The economy, um, it's almost like they have to start from scratch, even though I know there's an economy already for France, but it feels as if the water's receding and the economy is... Um, it's thin. It's, there's not a lot of depth to it. Like it needs more umph. Like the opposite of Pakistan where it's like depth, depth. France is more, not that they don't have institutions and economies and businesses, but it feels very thin as if there's not enough to support the country or the institutions or the government. Um, so all I'm saying, entertainment purposes only. And then I saw 2024, um, at the end of the year, I see this sharp turn. It's like a white light turning left. Does that mean leftist? No, because the right is more. Okay, it's hard for me to explain. I don't know if I'll be able to draw it. It's, a, it's like a shark's fin, but it's sideways and it's white and it has an outline of black and reddish color and it's it's like I don't know what happens but near the end of the year or timelines are a funny thing I see there's a sharp turn and I don't know if it's infusion of a new cash identity people government uh, maybe the people in power are trying to shift things and now it's going to take a hard left doesn't mean to the left or liberal, but just in that direction. And they're changing the direction very sharply. So something was going to change very sharply by the end of the year. And, but it's kind of white and turning this way. Um, and then next year, let me think, France 2025. It's like a mix. It's like there's some optimism. I see orange with layers of White, which I interpret as a really, orange is super positive and confident. And white is a really positive, um, pure feeling of goodness. And it's fine. There's no issues there. It's a mixed bag. So I think there's a positivity or a belief, a new belief or a new charge of um, confidence in the future for and next year. And I see that over the past the turn of the year like into 2025 farther in spring into summer and I see that it's good whatever they do at the end of the year it's like a sharp it's like they decide to come up with a strategy I think or something someone does um, and it turns left now um, I didn't think about immigration when I was doing that I was thinking about just economy but I know they're intr intrinsically related um, and the people's attitudes and concepts or perspectives are all integrated into how you feel about what's happening and but I I don't feel as if oh this is so weird okay so if I'm looking at France and I'm looking towards what I imagine Germany is and France goes to the north it's not going towards the UK so maybe there's another um, treaty or some kind of an agreement with another country towards um, the continental Europe. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but the continent of Europe. Like it's moving away from UK somehow. Not permanently, not everything, just this particular thing. So, and then when I'm looking at the UK and their violence, oh, it's messy. It's, there's a lot of. I mean, it was horrible that those three little girls were killed. But um, this new online social media dynamic part of our new culture or our culture is changing how we 
receive information, right? Um, and we're bombarded with information all the time about what's what people say and is it who who says it and are they, what are their uh, motivations? Okay, so I just feel the UK. There's just so much frustration um, in these small towns that have very little employment or they're shifting from old industries that haven't found a new place to put their workers they or the immigrants are coming to these little towns where there's already slim pickings for jobs and people are angry about it and like I said I don't know enough about the subjects I'm telling you my general visions colors moods um I don't know if you've been here before, you know, I see this as the UK as a, he used to, he's changed different versions of himself over the years. He's, or over the last couple of years is, he's uh, kind of a traditional, traditionally dress suited English older man um, with a top hat. And in the past, his legs have been, or his pants have been torn and he's dirty. And then other times where he's very well dressed and he feels very comfortable. And I use him as kind of my gauge or thermometer or barometer um i don't see him i don't see him at all so that tells me that the higher echelon or the upper elite isn't involved in the moment there i see the uk slosh in like a boat you know like in the water the island And I take that as rough waters, you know, Oops. rough waters, rough seas. Um, I think it's going to continue this mood. There's a lot of frustration in England, in these different small towns, small places. And that crime against those girls was just a, as like a, just a, a little scab that got picked. And underneath was all of this blood and anger. And so it's out and it's um, like now I'm going to ask, can Keir Starmer uh, mitigate that or help? He's talking to like people, I want to say like in the U.S. we call them union, union leaders. I don't know what they are in the U.K. People like that who have uh, leadership in workers unions or workers guilds or whatever they would be there. And I see him talking to them, or labor unions maybe. Um, maybe his labor party, I, I think that's his party. Or is it another? Hmm. Anyway, he, I see him talking to them, trying to go piece by piece by piece to help them understand that he's working for them, to help them tell their people, okay, I know you're frustrated. Um, and the immigrants are a complication right now. Um, but they're not, I'm focusing, he's telling him I'm focusing on that. Um, I don't know how far that'll go though. It's almost like he doesn't have a, a bigger blanket of communication. He needs to be more vocal or stronger, more, um, um, and I haven't watched the news, so I don't know, but I feel like he's trying to appease the groups that are angry but instead I feel like he needs to bring back a more positive confident vision that they can grab onto versus what they perceive their reality is as these immigrants are committing crimes and hurting us and and I may get comments of people that live there that are going to tell me stories I don't know but I like I said just doing the general feedback here from this time I do feel like it's going to continue there's going to be pockets but it will calm down eventually by September I think he's going to come with a policy or an agreement or some sort of governmental I don't know what you would call it in the bill um, declaration there where committed to help this class or these people or you know the fear of immigrants taking jobs and I don't know if that would include 
I don't know, it's job training. It's something like that to help this group of people who are angry, which is, I know, a vast, big, but it's more like that um, group of citizens or that have felt unheard, um, felt like their world is changing right in front of them and they can't stop it. It's something like that. And I know it's very vague, but that's what I'm seeing. But I do feel like he's trying, but it's like bit by bit, bit by bit. It's not, he needs a bigger blanket approach. I feel like he needs to make a bigger, grander gesture. That's what I think, but maybe he will. But right now I just see, I uh, feel like his hands are really full of stuff he's dealing with. And he's not, some of these skills he doesn't have, he had never learned in governance before. All right. Um... Japan's earthquake. Um, I'm going to write down here. Japan. In the past, I saw somebody had asked me about an earthquake hitting them, and I didn't see anything soon. I felt like the, the country was solid. I did see water lapping up on the north, I guess it would be the northwest end, up there by, I guess, Korea or China, um, but not a lot. But this earthquake down there by the where it was was way down um and it's a massive massive earthquake um, and i wanted to see if there'll be any tsunamis or any big um scary earthquakes that somebody said or i read about something 9.0 would be a mega earthquake or not tsunami that would you know, perhaps kill hundreds of thousands of people and destroy. There's going to be some more aftershocks down there by that um, earthquake. I mean, of course there will be. I see the people of Japan sitting waiting like this. Going, okay, is it going to happen over here? Is it going to happen over there? Which is totally understandable and natural. Okay. You know, plates of the earth. <laughs> I'll just get into the plates of the earth. Okay, if I'm feeling, if I am Japan, okay, if I'm Japan and I'm looking towards that plate where that, the tectonic plate, or where the trenches that it, um, it moved. So I looked, I had to refer to a map. When I looked at Japan, I know the earthquake they recently had was at the bottom of the island. I know there's several separated islands near the bottom. But I'm <clears throat> doing a general vision of it. I don't, I see that trench or that tectonic plate or however they're meeting. I do feel many aftershocks, but I also feel like it's going to... When it does do it, it will be more nor northeast, go up along the coast of Japan a little bit more. It'll be in that whole section. It won't go down. It will go up. And I feel like there's, it's relief, relieved pressure, kind of like, it's like arthritis under there. I feel like there's a bone spur and it's hitting. And then once that kind of disconnects and then it kind of releases, um, yeah, I feel like it's going to more eat more, eat, uh, more north towards on the way to Tokyo up that way. Like just some entertainment purposes. I know it's a scary thing, but, um, I do feel like there's going to be many little earthquakes at that, the one after this one that I just had, um, and maybe another big one. Tsunamis. Um, mild. Not a lot. Just more. Um, because I think it'll be a deeper tremor or a deeper quake. Um, and close. So I don't think the tsunami will have. Or I mean, it'll be waves, but it. I don't know. I 
take it or leave it. I don't know if I'm being accurate and I, I hate anybody to decide anything on my visions, but um, I think the country's buildings are generally earthquake resistant. Um, but I do feel like people moving inland because of the fear um, and I feel like that trench or that plate down here somewhere it's going to shift and that'll let out a some pressure from up there or you know it'll change down here and it'll just and then it'll, it'll just again and then it'll be settled for a while Oh, scary. I know there's a lot of, where the world is covered with tectonic plates and that's how that is. And we're shifting and between Arctic melts and uh, heat, water, hot water, hot climate, things have been changing. Yeah, and I do, because of that, I do feel because of the plates, there'll be other volcanic activity in... more north maybe Iceland maybe North Russia I don't even know if they have volcanoes up there but in the northern Arctic Circle ish I think um, yeah I don't know if it's Iceland is the way that's the other way but it's more like Russia or some sort of magma coming out of the crown anyway all right cron lauren bobert will she get reelected in her new district i looked into that and yes barely i see her um mm, lauren bobert november 2024 well actually i do see her moving on having a life outside of politics why king of cups the fool starting over taking risk the emperor hmm maybe somebody's going to give her a job Lauren Bobert okay well she get reelected she's in it's funny I see her like if I'm in her energy I see her with like a, a scythe or a machete she's cutting like this back and forth back and forth um, I'm not sure if that is because of she's cutting through the drama she's cutting through any resistance um, sorry I'm seeing somebody out there I don't know if it's an animal or a person I think it's a person swimming but I see the resistance is very tough like it's thick and hard so if she's if she is cutting it it's really hard to cut through. Hmm. Lauren Bobert when Hmm. It's very slow for her to gain traction in the new district where she is, even though Ultimately, I think she will win. Yeah, I think she will, ultimately. And, but I think it won't be as it was. Things will be different because the Republicans won't have control of the Congress and they won't have control of the Senate. It'll be a Democratic majority and she won't have the power and I think she'll be put on the back burner. I just got notified that LA had an earthquake, 4.4, which isn't very big, but it, the epicenter is really good to, close to downtown. Yeah, LA just had an earthquake, 4.4, which isn't too bad in earthquake forms, but we always know when you have an earthquake in one area, it pushes pressure or releases pressure in another area until everything gets settled again. And... Uh, I do think they're going to have another one south Mexico at least down that way several 
I don't know if it's related to the Japan tectonic plate, which is weird because we were just talking about that. But the earth is an organic being, so it's always shifting and changing. Can't change that. Anyway. Uh, and she will. It's funny, I don't feel great about her, but at the same time, I feel as if she will hang on, but she won't have any power um, when she gets in. She'll just make a lot of noise. And then I think she's going to embarrass herself and um, she's going to be put in the corner and not be able to be part of any committees or anything. I think they're going to kind of keep her sequestered in the actual larger Congress. Oh, there'll be the whole mega group in their little Bobo teas, Boba tea people, and she'll be bouncing around there. And But eventually those Boba tea people are going to dry up. I've seen the MAGA people. Those, what's the vision that I have for the MAGA people? Uh, oh, MTG. Yeah, I think she'll be, she'll get elected. The reason I see that, I think that is because in her district on the primary, she got like 56,000 votes and her Democratic competition was running against somebody else and he won with 6,500 or something. And the other person got three or four, 5,000. So even between the two of them, the Democratic constituency there in that district is very low so she's gonna win again she's just too forceful um, give her that she's a big force uh, but she'll she'll fade eventually and the United States will little by little by little we'll all start to see each other as friends little by little and those family members who you've been fighting with or divided about within politics uh, maybe some won't ever come back but some will and I think people are tired they're just tired so when I last time I mentioned I saw this valley with the sparkling energy and the glow and how the populace or the people us have raised our vibration and are trying to fill our valley with love and it's really helping and the divine energy from God is pulling it up. So the connection is greater because I think the desire to have this loving energy, we're just working on that and raising the vibration of everything. So you, whatever you guys are doing is working. As I said, this time I looked at that valley and I saw it in a, a still sparkly, but more of a green hue which tells me it's a healing energy and it was fresh before and loving and now it's it's settling down to more of a green energy it also could be related to the energy around Kamala Harris and Tim Walls and their um, energy and excitement and joy around their campaign and I've said in the past it'll it'll die down but um, for now, it's it's really good. And their uh, convention will be in about 10 days or 9, 10 days. And King of Swords, High Priestess, Hangman. Yeah, so I think there'll be some things that um, are going to be really smart. So let's keep doing what we're doing. Filling the air and the sky and our neighborhoods with love and light and leave the fear behind let that go okay um, I'll be here <laughs> soon and in the future we'll keep talking about this and keep keeping up the good fight okay everybody thank you again for coming by uh, like subscribe all that stuff and uh, till next time Oh, my God.